Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another exquisite Two Minute Tuesday. Uh, today, I want to talk about one of my favorite tools in the XRM toolbox. And this tool is made by a really good friend of mine, Microsoft MVP, Jonas Schrapp. Um, it's called the Bulk Data Updater. Now, I'm not going to use this tool or I don't typically use this tool for what it's meant to be, which is to update data in bulk. I find myself that in a lot of cases, if I need to update data is because I need to, I don't know, update a field that comes from another data set or whatever. So I use other mechanisms to do that. And I think this tool probably can do a good job on that situation as well. But the way I use it is I use it to run workflows or flows, either one, uh, in bulk. And again, I don't know if that was the purpose of this tool, but that is how I use it and I wanted to show it to you today. So let's imagine we have a process, whether that is a Microsoft flow from Power Automate or whether that is a workflow, just a regular Dynamics 365 for Power you know, Apps Dataverse workflow, and you want to execute that workflow on demand. All right. If you toggle that workflow to on demand, by the way, it's not super easy to do it on demand. If you have already created a cloud flow that is supposed to launch, let's say on a updating a record, um, there's no easy way to convert it. But if you have a workflow, um, you, you can switch it to on demand. And then you can run it. But as you know, there's some restrictions on that. You only see 250 records per page. So if you have thousands and thousands of records, that kind of takes a long time. Uh, there is another tool, by the way, on the XRM toolbox, uh, which is bulk, bulk bulk workflow execution. I've talked about this tool in the past as well that will allow you to pick an on-demand workflow and pick a view, basically, which can be even a personal view. And you can run it against all the records on that view. It's a great tool. And I've talked about it before. I don't know if we have a two-minute Tuesday for this tool, but we probably do. I mean, it's it's one of the tools that I've been using forever. Um, but this tool, the bulk data up updater, the reason why I've been using it the most is because it allows me to kind of fake running flows on demand. All right. So if you create a flow that is meant to run when a field on an entity or a table, how they're called now, is updated, then this tool is great for that. Now, the problem is, and here's the beauty of this tip, the problem is, is that sometimes the field or the column that you're updating or that will fire the flow is a field that is not easily updatable. Like, because some of you I know are thinking, well, how about I export this data to Excel and then I update all those fields and then I import it back in that would trigger all the flows. Yes, if you had a field which main job was to just fire those flows, like if you had a custom field that just says execute work, execute flow, yes or no, you know, something like that, then yes, you could, I guess, export to Excel and import, but there's no need for that. So even if you had a field that you cannot update for all records, let's let's just pick one that is like unique. Let's say account number. All right. So let's say you created a flow that executes when an account number is set or changed in any way. And the flow will do certain things. It doesn't matter. And you want to execute that for all of the accounts in the system. So how do you do that? Well, let me show you. So I'm going to go ahead and open the bulk data up updater. And notice that I already have, just to save up on time, I already have my list of accounts loaded. Now, there's a few ways to load an entity. You can use the Fetch XML Builder, which is another tool of the XRM toolbox. You can just enter a Fetch XML yourself, as you can see right here. Or uh, you can use uh, the view menu from Dynamics. So if you click on open views, this thing will open up. You go to entity and then you pick account and then you pick whatever view you want. Let's say it's active accounts or whatever it is. As you can see, it pulls the fetch XML and it goes ahead and enters it on the view. All right. So that's how you do that. So there's a few ways to do it um, if you want to. Now, here's the beauty of it. And you know what? Let's just add the countdown. Let's start the countdown and let's go. Now, here's the beauty of it. Let's say that the flow that you're running runs in a unique field, like the account number. You cannot mess with it. You cannot just add them all to Excel, make all the accounts number number two, and you know trigger the change in all the records. You don't want to do that. Now, check this out. 
So what I will do with the bulk data updater from Jonas Wrap is I would pick the field, so account number in this case, and then watch this. Touch. I just say touch it. Just touch it. Trigger the change, but don't really do anything to it. Don't mess with it. Don't change the data. Just touch it. Just a slight caress, little tap. Just touch it, right? So touch the record, click on add attribute, and then update records and let it fly. That's how you do that. So we don't want to be exporting to Excel and importing or changing things, trying to decide what do I make this field in order to trigger this flows that I really, really need to run. No need to do that. Just find the records that you need to run it for based on a view. Once again, that view can be anything. You know, if you can build it in advance, fine, and then click on download the fetch XML, you can just copy and paste it here. Um, and once you click OK and it pulls those records, just pick the field that would trigger those flows or those workflows, touch them, add attribute, and update records and watch it fly. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.